stable, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? At night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... That'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. No, Jack was a little of that too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. We need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on.
guess no man caves complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. For whom the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a... mandala? Mm-hmm. Oof. It's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little, uh... Janky. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Another belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe.
extra memento of this. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Jack, pure and simple. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? I'll see you at the Coyote then. Raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot. Three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. 
beat the shit out of us both. It's half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. And half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. An honorable man. He placed principles first and stuck hard to him. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. Most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chew. I would like to say a toast. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty, and she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go, invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Campos all torn up. I'm gonna miss him. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I already do. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. <laughs> Me too, cabron. Don't go started. Me too. Eh? Not today. Here's to Jackie. Down off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Poured you another? For Jaquito? Poor. For Jackie. Amen, brother. See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept him going. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. 
She's a strong woman. You uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre. You think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God. Stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. <laughs> <laughs> 